Welcome to our video edition of Learn with LBSI for the month of November 2021. For this month, we will demonstrate how to set up outgoing company credit cards within SAP Business One. This will allow you to process outgoing credit card payments within the system and easily track which payments have been transacted against the particular credit card. When you receive your credit card statements, you can effortlessly compare the amount on the statement to the transactions within SAP Business One. To begin, let's navigate to Financials, Chart of Accounts to go through the initial setup. In the Chart of Accounts window and in the Liabilities drawer, you will want to add a credit card clearing account for each credit card account your company has. It is advantageous to set up a separate account for each credit card you will be creating outgoing payments for so you can easily see which transactions occurred against which credit card account. The next area where you need to set up information is under Administration, Setup, Banking, and Credit Cards. In this window is where you can set up the credit card with the GL accounts that were recently created. This will allow you to select the credit cards on the Payment Means window of the outgoing payment document. With the setup out of the way, let's navigate to Purchasing, AP Invoice to demonstrate how to process an outgoing credit card payment for an AP Invoice. Once you are on the invoice you want to pay with a credit card, you will need to select the Payment Means icon to open up the Payment Means window. After the Payment Means window appears, you will need to select the Credit Card tab if it is not already selected. Please note that this Credit Card tab can also be used when creating a manual outgoing payment through the Outgoing Payment module instead of going directly from the AP invoice. In the Credit Card Name field is where you can select the credit card you are using to pay the transaction. Next, in the GL Account field is where you will need to select the GL account that was recently created for the credit card. Below that in the Amount Due field is where you can enter in the payment amount of the transaction. If you want to pay for the full invoice, you can simply press Ctrl and B on your keyboard copy the full invoice balance into that field. After entering in the amount in the Amount Due field, you can proceed to select the OK button. Finally, after the credit card payment means has been entered, you can add the outgoing payment transaction. To demonstrate how the outgoing payment transaction affects your GL accounts, let's right-click the outgoing payment document and select Journal Entry. As you can see, we have a debit to the vendor's account and a credit to the company credit card GL account that was previously added. With the transaction out of the way, let's go through how to reconcile the credit card statement once it has been received. For this part, we will demonstrate how to reconcile the credit card statement if you pay the credit card company with an online payment. Later on in the video, we will demonstrate how to do so when paying with a check or ACH payment. To begin, let's navigate to Financials, Internal Reconciliation, Reconciliation, to open up the Internal Reconciliation Selection Criteria window. Once the window appears, make sure to select the Manual option for the Reconciliation type and that the GL account selected is the credit card clearing account for the credit card you are reconciling. Once those two areas are updated, you can proceed to select the Reconcile button. Doing so, we'll display the Internal Reconciliation window. In it, will be the credit card outgoing payment transactions that have been linked to the credit card GL account. From here, you can go through your credit card statement. In SAP Business One, you can check each transaction that appears on the credit card statement. After you have selected all the transactions that appear on your credit card statement, you can proceed to select the Adjustments button to open a Journal Entry window. In the Journal Entry window, you can add any transactions that appear on your credit card statement that did not appear in the previous window. You can add the payment amount for the credit card company to the journal entry as well. Simply add the GL accounts for the extra transactions that did not appear in the reconciliation window, as well as the GL account for the bank account that you are using to pay the credit card company. In the remarks field, you should also enter an in information to indicate what the journal entry will be added for. We recommend entering in something like November 2021 visa statement, for example. After adding any extra transactions and the payment amount, you can proceed to select the Add button. Once the journal entry has been added, the Amount to Reconcile column should equal out to zero. Since the Amount to Reconcile column is now zero, 
you can proceed to select the Reconcile button to reconcile the credit card transactions and add the adjusting entry. With the reconciliation process for online payments out of the way, let's demonstrate how to reconcile the transactions when paying with a check or ACH payment. This process assumes that you have previously reconciled the credit card transactions for the prior month. To begin, let's navigate to Financials, Internal Reconciliation, Reconciliation to open the Internal Reconciliation Selection Criteria window. Just like before, you will need to select the menu option for the reconciliation type, select the credit card's GL account, and click Reconcile. Now you will want to select all the transactions that appear on your credit card statement and make a note of the amount that is in the Amount to Reconcile column at the bottom. For the time being, you can close the Internal Reconciliation window and navigate to Purchasing, AP Invoice to create an AP Invoice for the credit card vendor. In the Vendor field, you will need to enter in the credit card business partner and in the item slash service type dropdown, you will need to make sure that service is selected. The first row of the AP invoice should contain the GL account for the credit card and the amount that was previously noted from the internal reconciliation window. After entering in the amount from the internal reconciliation window, in the subsequent lines should be any transactions that did not previously appear on the internal reconciliation window but do appear on your credit card statement. Once you enter in all the outstanding transactions, the amount in the balance due field should match the amount on your credit card statement. If the balances do match, then you can proceed to add the AP invoice. Otherwise, make sure that you have all the correct amounts on the invoice. Following the addition of the AP invoice, you can navigate back to the internal reconciliation window from the initial steps to view the newly added transaction. When the internal reconciliation window opens, you will notice that the amount from the AP invoice for the credit card GL account will now appear in the window. You can simply select the transactions that were selected previously, as well as the AP invoice that was recently added. If done correctly, the amount to reconcile column will equal out to zero at the bottom. Now you can proceed to select the reconcile button to reconcile the credit card transactions. Once you are ready to pay the invoice to the credit card company, you can proceed to add an outgoing payment transaction against the invoice that was previously added in order to pay for the AP invoice to the credit card company. This month's tip of the day is great for easily opening up new modules if you have screens open that cover your main menu. Sometimes you need to open new screens and do not want to move open screens around so you can access the main menu to open a new module. If you want to open up a new module and do not want to use your main menu to do so, simply navigate to the module option at the top left of your screen. From here, you will be able to access all the modules from your main menu that you previously could. Simply hover your mouse over a category and it will open up the additional options beneath it. After you find the screen you want to open, you can easily click on the option to open up the new module. Outgoing credit card transactions within SAP Business One are quick and easy to process whether it be with new transactions or reconciling old transactions. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.